Are you tired of manually coding every app yourself? Do you wish an AI could do all the work for you automatically? Well, now it can, with the release of Deveka, a local open source AI agent that can literally work for you. Just write an instruction, press enter, and see the AI agent start to work automatically by writing a precise plan on how to execute the task, then browsing the web by itself and gathering information before automatically writing the code and creating local project files in your computer folder that you can then run and admire the results. And all of that running on your local computer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And humans when we scale your air overload and oh man, this is just amazing. Now, as you saw in the intro, Devika is an open source AI software that can literally build any apps or programs you want just by giving it an instruction. Now, you might have heard of this AI tool called Devon a few weeks back that was introduced as the first AI software engineer, where you input an instruction and it would then write an action plan, then go online and gather information before doing the rest of the task automatically. And it looked pretty amazing. Amazing. But unfortunately, Devon is a third-party software, while Devika is an open-source AI tool that tries to mimic what Devon can do, but this time running locally on your computer, where you can even use local large language models like the Llama 3 model that just came out. And the way it looks and works really gives us a glimpse of how an AGI agent might work in the near future. So even though it's still a work in progress, this is some seriously heavy amazing stuff. And so to install this, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. So just download the installer onto your computer, then double-click it. Then after the installation is done, you're gonna place the launcher devika.bat file inside the devika folder, go inside, and then run the launcher so that in the end it should give you a local host URL and if you press Control and left click the web UI will open automatically in your browser. Simple as that. You really don't have to do anything. And the Devika installation is actually pretty complex and it took me a while to make it work so believe me when I say that the one click installer is definitely super practical. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. So first make sure that you have Python, Git for Windows and Node.js installed so then you're gonna open a command prompt window and type powershell-c IRM bun.sh slash install dot ps1 iex. Then you're gonna press enter. This will basically download and install bun. Then you can close the window. Next, you're gonna clone the Devika repository. So you're gonna go to the Devika GitHub page, click on code. Then you're gonna click on this little icon to copy this entire name. Then back in your computer, in an empty folder, you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter. This will bring the command prompt window. And then here you're gonna type git clone. And then you're gonna paste the URL of the repository. And then you're gonna press enter. And this will clone the Devika repository onto your computer by creating this small Devika folder. So the next, you're gonna go inside that folder. So you're gonna type cd Devika. Then once we are inside, we're gonna create a virtual environment with this command line. Then next, we're gonna activate the environment. Now, once the environment is activated, we're gonna install PyTorch with this huge command line. Once this is done, we're gonna install the requirements with this command pip install slash r requirements.txt. Okay, so then next we're gonna install Playwright with this command. So then we're gonna install npm. So then once this is done, we're gonna go inside the UI folder with the cd UI command. Then you're gonna type bun install and bun add vite. And finally, once this is done, it's almost over. To start Devika, you need to run two different parts, the front end and the back end. Now for the front end, once you are inside the UI folder, you're gonna run bun run start, then press enter which after a few seconds should give you a local URL, but this is not over because now we need to run the back end. So we are back inside the Devika folder. Then once again, you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter. So then here you're gonna activate the environment and then you're gonna run the Devika py file. And once you see the message Devika is up and running, you can open the local host URL and now Devika is finally ready to be used. Okay, so now we can finally have some fun. Or is it? Because indeed, unfortunately, we're not exactly a percent done. Because to be able to use like a bunch of different models, ranging from Claude to Grok to ChatGPT, and to be able to serve the web, we need to add our own API keys. But don't worry, it's actually really simple. You only need to do it once, and after that, you are good. So once again, if you want to find the API keys settings, all you need to do is just click on this little settings icon and we can finally start completing a few of these fields. Now, depending on the type of models that you want to use, you will here enter the API key corresponding to the model. 
But the two fields that you always need to complete is the Google search and the Google search engine ID. Because otherwise, without that, you won't be able to go online. But once again, it's actually really easy and really fast, and I'm gonna show you how. So for the first Google search field, you're gonna go to this URL, developers.google.com, custom search v1 introduction. Then right here, you'll see like a get a key button. You're gonna click on this. Then you're gonna enter your project name, then click yes, click next. Okay, so then after a few seconds, you'll get here the ability to show the key. So if you click on this little button, you will have here your API key that you can copy. Make sure that you actually save this key somewhere else on your computer, for example, so that you don't have to look for it. And then inside Devika, you're going to click on edit, and then you're going to erase this entire field, and then paste your API right here. And there you go, that's already one field done. So the next field, we have Google search engine ID. And for this, you need to go to this URL, programmable search engine.google.com control panel slash all, where here you're going to click on add to add a new search engine, then you're going to name Devika or something else. Here you're going to select search the entire web, then enable image search, click I'm not a robot if you're not a robot, and then finally click create. And once this is done, you're going to go back to all engines, select your search engine, and then here you will see your search engine ID. Then click on this little icon to copy this entire ID. So then once again, back in Devika, you're going to erase this entire field, paste your API, and there you go. So once you have filled those Google search fields, now it's kind of up to you to decide which model you really want to use. Do you want to use the cloud model? Do you want to use the ChatGPT model, the Gemini, the Grok, etc, etc. Now definitely the two models that I recommend that work the best are the cloud model API and the OpenAI APIs. Basically, the more powerful the model, the better the results. So basically, once again, on both of these platforms, just create a new secret key or a new API key and then put in the field corresponding to the model. So once this is done, you're going to click on save. And now, finally, we can have some fun. And the way you start is very simple. First, you're going to create a new project. So you're going to click on this little arrow, then click new project. Here, you're going to input the project name. So for example, let's say that I want a snake game. So then I'm going to press OK. So then here under select search engine, you're going to select Google. And then under select model, you can finally select the model that you want to use. So if you have a cloud API key, you can use between the cloud three Opus, Sonnet and Haiku. So the Opus is the most powerful, while the Haiku is the least powerful powerful, but they're still really, really good, then you can also choose a Google model, a Grok model, a Mistra model, a local model, or a chat GPT model. So like for this example, I'm just going to use the GPT 3.5 Turbo. So then next, you're going to enter your project. You're going to enter what you want Devika to create for you. So in my case, I want a simple snake game in Python. So then if I press enter, just like in the intro, it's going to create a plan of what he's going to do. Then it's going to browse the web to research some information. You can basically see like what websites he uses for the information, which is actually really, really cool. And after it has research or the information it needs to make the project, it's going to start writing the code automatically. And finally, the project will be created. And to have access to that project, you're going to go inside the data folder, then projects. And then you will see here a new folder called Snake. And once you go inside, you will see three different files. Sometimes it's only two, but very usually with Python project, you will see like a main.py file and a requirements.txt file. And to open the project, you can either do it manually, or if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you will have access to the project launcher.bat file, which is really just a simple bat file that you can just copy and then paste inside each one of your projects folder. And if you launch it, the project will then launch automatically. And if you want to do it manually, the first time that you want to launch the project, you're going to click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter. Here, you're going to install the requirements from the text file. And then to launch the Python project, you're going to type python main.py and then press enter. And there you go. The simple snake game is finally ready to be played. So as you can see, each time that I basically eat this red cube, my snake becomes bigger. And of course, the more I eat, the longer the snake gets. And what's really great is that if you want to make any changes to the game, you can go back inside Devika and ask for some changes. So for example, let's say that I want uh, to make the snake game faster and to change the background color to light blue, for example. Basically, Devika will automatically update the game code and update the files, because now if you relaunch the project, all the changes have been implemented correctly. Okay, I'm maybe not a fan of all the, uh, you know, the background, but, you know, it was just a test to show you that, you know, basically it just works. So obviously it's still a work in progress, it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool. And if you're asking, is there
there a way to actually use Devika with local models running on your computer for free? Well, the answer is yes and no. What I mean by that is that yes, you can actually use local models and I'm going to show you how to do it. But as of right now, not only you need to install another version of Devika, at least as of right now, as I'm making this video, but you also need to understand that the model that you choose needs to be powerful enough and smart enough to do your task so that the project is done successfully. Now the problem is that currently a lot of local models have kind of like the same problem, the same issues, where each time that you want to use it, it gives you like this invalid response from the model trying again error, again and again and again, so that in the end basically you get absolutely no answer in return. But I'm actually going to show you how to solve this. Now to be able to use local models with Devika, you actually need to install another version of Devika where the local model bugs have been solved, although probably by the time that you watch this video, the changes will already be merged into the main Devika repository. But if you are watching this video right now, like today, these changes have not been implemented already. So for this, you need to actually install this version of Devika with this particular branch to be able to use the local models correctly. Now you can of course either do it yourself manually, or if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you can just use the Devika auto installer olamafix.bat file to install that version of Devika automatically. And once you do, and you have installed this new version of Devika, we need to install a super amazing cool piece of tech called Olama. Now I was thinking of making a separate video on this because it's kind of like the easiest way to run LLM on your computer, but since there isn't a lot to say, I ended up not making the video after all. So I'm actually really happy to be able to talk about this and show you how it works because it's actually really super cool. So basically, if you want to install Olama, you can just click the description down below, then click on download, download for Windows, then you're gonna run the exe file and install Olama, and once this is done, you're gonna click on models, insert a model that you want to download and use. So like for example the latest Llama 3 model that was just released, to be able to download and use Llama 3 on your computer with old Llama, all you need to do is open a command prompt window, copy this little command, then paste it, then it's gonna download the Llama 3 model onto your computer, and then it's gonna start the model automatically. And yeah, uh, what you see right here is actually Llama 3 running on my computer inside the command prompt window. So if I say something like, uh, hi, uh, very simply in very fast, the Llama 3 model is gonna respond. What's up my dude? And yeah, I mean, there you go. Simple as that. And if you want to use like another model, you can just again go back to this list and let's say for example that I want to use the latest 3.3 model open sourced by Microsoft, which apparently is a very good model. Once again, just click on this link, open a command prompt window, type this command, then press enter. It's going to start downloading the model. And after a few minutes, once the model is downloaded, the model will start automatically and you can start to use it right now. Okay, so now that this is done, now that we have downloaded a few Olama models, how do we use this inside Devika? So once again, you're going to launch the new Devika version, if you did everything correctly, you should now see Olama available, meaning that Olama was downloaded and installed correctly. Now go back to the web UI. And once you have entered the Google search and Google search engine ID in the API ski section, now you can create a new project, select Google for the search engine, and then finally select a model. If you scroll down, you will see under Olama all the models that you downloaded previously. Now obviously, depending on how powerful the model is, the final result will be more or less good. So like for example, if I choose like Lama 3, so if I ask something like an app in Python that generates secure random passwords, and if I press enter, once again, it will work pretty much the same way as if we were using a cloud model. Like it will create a step-by-step -step plan, then it's gonna search the web for information, then it's gonna write the code, and now if we go to data, then projects, you will see like this main.py file, but now if I run it, I indeed get like a random generated password with a bunch of different characters, uppercase and lowercase letters that I can use for a bunch of websites. So yeah, I mean it's not fancy, but at least it works. And once again, everything was done locally. This was done with a local model running on my local computer inside an open source local tool. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's still a working project. So as everybody says, it is the worst version it will ever be. So I really cannot wait once this becomes even better. So yeah, really super cool. Oh, and also do not forget that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. The link for the Patreon will be in the description down below. And yeah, 
yeah, there you go. This was the Vika, a local open source tool that is aiming to become the next AI software engineer. And although it's still a work in progress, the way it works and looks can really give us a glimpse to the future on how future AGI agents will work so that once AGI is here, we can just sit back and relax. So yeah, definitely try this out and have some fun. And there we are with folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.